Dan, there's still a couple of you coming in, uh, but I think we are good to start the today's luxury webinar. I'm going to let everybody introduce themselves. Um, so, Lindsay, it's your first time presenting with us. You would normally have Kerry, but you look after you, the, is it the US or US and Canada market? Yes, so I am Lindsay Siandra. Um, we are Destinations of Distinction, and we are the USA sales and marketing representatives for the Ocean Hotels Group in Barbados. So thank you for having me. I'm really excited um, to join today, and I look forward to telling you all about our O2 Beach Club and Spa property. Super. Thank you very much, Lindsay. And you have a prize for one lucky agent today as well, don't you? Yes, we do. And that is, um, that is $50, right? 50, $60, $60 or 50 pounds. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Super. Um, um, Amy's saying she can't see Lindsay. Yes, don't worry. Um, yes. Her <laughs> broken, but we will see her in a moment on her presentation. So um, you, you've got to be guessing at the moment what she looks like, but we'll see <laughs> her very, very soon. <laughs> Okay, super. We also have Catherine that's joining us from the sunny shores. Um, Catherine, welcome. Tell us who you are, where you're from and your prize today. Hi, I'm Catherine Wood. Um, I'm the regional account director for the Sun Cian group of properties in the Maldives. Um, and today I have a prize of a £50 voucher. Yes. Super, Catherine. Right, well, if you can take us over to the Maldives, we're looking forward to seeing your presentations. And don't forget, any questions for Catherine, pop them into the Q&A for the attention of Catherine. It's all yours, Catherine. I'm coming over. Let me try and share. Bear with me. <laughs> Here we go. Hopefully we can all see this. It's nearly there. Yeah. Right. Going to begin the begin. So, as I said, I'm Catherine Wood, the Regional Account Director for the Sun Siam Group of Properties in the Maldives. Independently owned, they are, uh, by Mr. Mr. Siam. He's part of the government out there. He is Maldivian. Um, we're now the biggest group of the Maldives. We have five properties out there. Um, and it's a family-run business. So his brother runs the Olivelli, his daughter does the PR, uh, son-in-law runs the, the CM world. So I think it's very nice that the biggest group in the Maldives is a family, Maldivian family business, yes. I'm going to start with the son, Siam Irafushi. This I would consider his highest end property, five-star deluxe. And you will get there by seaplane transfer. And that is a 45-minute seaplane transfer to the north, yes. We have two private seaplane lounges in the brand new seaplane terminal, one for our CM world and all, um, the other one is for all the other properties that require a um, seaplane transfer. Get checked in here, bit of food and beverage, a comfortable place to wait because uh, the seaplanes have to, you know, the wait could be anything from 30 minutes up to quite a few hours, depending on they need 100% visibility to, to, um, to fly. So if the, the weather's not so good, it might be a bit of a longer wait than anticipated then you will get there and this is basically your lead-in room type it is huge yeah 125 square meters round in shape really high ceilings and all come with this lovely little cabana right on the beach front there up one category deluxe beach villa with pool exactly the same room type but look that is a your own private pool and that's a proper size pool there you can have a good swim in that yeah Lead in over water category here is your water villa. Uh, nice big deck, steps into the sea, nice and private. Um, and then they go up in categories where they've got a guaranteed sunset view, jacuzzi tub on your deck, uh, right up to the top category here, which is the infinity water villa. That is a huge deck, your own pool, not that you need on when you've got the ocean directly below you. Um, separate bedroom, separate sitting room, yeah? Lot of space. I would say one of the main USPs of this property, though, is, is the dining options here. We have a choice of 15 bars and restaurants on the island. So here we've got a picture of the lovely French restaurant. We have French, Asian, uh, Indian, uh, seafood grills, Italian, you name it, we've got it, okay? Uh, meat and seafood grill on the beach, yeah? Uh, and basically, when you book here, it's on bed and breakfast, and you will upgrade to half board, full board, then all inclusive, but it's dine around on all of those options. So you're never going to get bored. Yeah. 
another USP of this property, I would say, is the spa. Yeah. They really know what they're doing here. Yeah, 23 treatment rooms here. They've got over 160 different treatments to choose from, a whole wellness program, uh, whether it's uh, five days, seven days or 10 days. So you can totally immerse yourself in, in, in the spa here. Lots of offers on at the moment, but the key one here is you get to the seven nights and we're going to throw in two free seaplane transfers, which is which which is a, a great deal. And that's combinable with various percentages off, to, depending on the year, whether it's 25 percent off the room rate or, or up to 30 percent off. But what I would really like to point out to everybody here, we encourage families to this resort. So kids here, we actually consider under 15. Uh, not under 12 like most resorts. So that's two kids under 15 in the room free of charge, but also eating on the same meal plan for free as the parents. That makes such a difference in cost, especially when you think of a 14 year old lad who eats loads. Yeah. Anyway, moving swiftly on, because I don't have much time, I'm going to go to the CM World. Yeah, this opened a couple of years ago um, and it is doing really well. Yeah. Again, a five star premium, all inclusive. Um, and again, this is a transfer up to the north to that Nunu Atoll, 45 minutes, yeah? So it is next door to the Irofushi. So this is your option now, which because it doesn't often happen to be able to do a twin centre in the Maldives. So generally with the Maldives, you have to go back down to Mali and off again. Uh, so it'd be two seaplane transfers, but we can boat you over. They're literally five minutes away from each other, the CM World and the Irofushi. So you can quickly boat over. Just requirement to get that boat for free is a minimum of four nights in each resort. Here, they, CM World's get, got its own private lounge as well. Um, so again, checked in, bit of food and beverage and a, a little spa place. Uh, so you can have a little 10 minute massage if you fancy as well whilst you're waiting. And then we arrive. Yes, here it is. This is this is a big island. Yeah, one of the biggest islands in the Maldives to date. Um, and it will take you about an hour and a quarter to walk around. So as you can see, we've got a track con uh, here, which we have buggies constantly going around the island this way and that. So you come out of your room and you go to the local bus stop. And we've named the bus stops after capital cities, Paris, Hong Kong, New York. Yes, very quirky. It is the world, yeah, after all. Lots of USPs about this property. Firstly, every single room has its own private pool. Every water villa here has a pool and a slide into the sea. It's got a 24-hour dine-around all-inclusive program. Largest floating water park in the Indian Ocean. It's got a horse ranch, yes. So I think we've got about seven horses now. We've got a full-size football pitch, so we do football camps. And we've just in, opened up a brand new go-karting track. So as you can guess, there is a lot to do here. And that seems to be the audience we're attracting, certainly families, but even couples who probably thought, oh, a small Maldivian island, I don't think um, that's for me. I might get bored. Not at the CM World. There's a lot to do here. Yeah. Another USP, I'd say that this is your lead in, water, uh, lead in room type, water villa with pool and slide. Yeah. Plunge pool there. Nice big deck uh, and slide into the sea. As you can see, not a good room type for small kids, okay? So if, if anybody's asking, guests are asking for, for an overwater thing for, for, for small toddlers, this is not. Persuade them uh, to the beach, please, yeah? Upper category, and we've now got a lagoon water villa with pool and slide, bigger deck, bigger plunge pool, um, and again, that slide into the sea. We've even got two and three bedroom over water villas with pool and slides. And the way these work here, we've got, a, we've got the three bedroom. It's a bedroom, bathroom, bedroom, bathroom, bedroom, bathroom, not joined by a sitting room, but by a huge decking area here and a big pool uh, and slide into the sea. So this effectively becomes your, your communal area. And then we've got a two bedroom over here. Yeah. Lead in uh, category on the beach is a sunset pool beach villa. They are beautiful. Nice big, big plunge pool there. Two adults and two kids in this room type. And then we've also got two bedroom properties, three bedroom properties on the beach. We even go up to a six bedroom, uh, two story palace. Yeah. Lot of room types available, lot of space on the island available. So pretty much we can cater for any size group or budget. Uh 
one all-inclusive program for all and get on with it which is nice and easy couple of buffet restaurants five a la carte um to include a thai uh indian uh, seafood meat grill spanish mediterranean and a new maldivian restaurant we have five bars the shipwrecked also offers uh italian food in the del mar below it um, and the, it's the Kuluvaru Sports Bar that's the 24-hour element. So when everything closes down, that stays open all night with drinks and snacks throughout the night. We also have a Japanese restaurant, which again is 50% is uh, off, not, not part of the AI there. Here's your lovely uh, floating water park, jolly hard work, that I can tell you now, it's a bit of a workout. And here's uh, the new go-karting track, which is so much fun. I, I did it for the first time with a fan trip in May. It was great. Lots of offers on again, but the key, key message here is you get to those uh, seven nights, we're going to throw in uh, two free seaplane transfers. And that's per room. So if you've got a two bedroom property, we're going to give you four there. Yes, that's combinable <coughs> with 25% off for this summer and next summer months and 20% off for the winter months. Yeah. Moving swiftly on even more. Sun Siam, Iru Valley. Hmm. Five-star premium, all-inclusive, much smaller now. Yeah, just like uh, just over 120 rooms. Um, and the UK market loves this one as well. And it tends to it tends to be attract honeymooners more, younger couples. And again, we're going seaplane and we're now going down to the south by 35 to 40 minutes. So it's going to share that seaplane lounge, that private seaplane lounge, just, just with our Irofushi um, as well, yes? And then you arrive and this is your lead-in room type. Again, it's huge, big and spacious with those lovely high ceilings here. Um, I think the key here is that uh, for USPs, definitely that every single room has its own private pool. That's that's one thing you can tick off. Um, but uh, the key with this property is what's included in the all-inclusive. You really don't have to have to spend anything outside. So firstly, um, we have is dine around. Mini bar gets filled every day with uh, soft drinks, beer, and with wine. We get three excursions included in the stay, 100 US dollar spa credits included, jet ski credit, shisha every day. So you just don't need to spend once, you, once you're there. Lead in over water categories, your ocean villa with pool, nice big high ceilings again. And then up one category to the Dolphin Ocean Villa with pool. These are lovely. Just 14 of these. The main difference here um, with the one before is basically Ocean Villa's location. I think the biggest difference. Just 14 of these. And they're located on a wonderful bit of house reef. And they've got a little bit of their own sandy area there. So it's your own little beach. But there's also a cut through here where the dolphin channel is so the dolphins will come swimming past not a guarantee i'm not going to guarantee dolphins swim past but basically you should be able to sit on your deck and watch them go past yeah get on and dine around i said so we have the fine dining italian restaurant meat and seafood grill uh, a buffet changes its themes every day, a couple of bars, and one of the bars next to the adults only pulled in snacks during the wet day as well, yeah? Here it is, fresh water bar. That does the best cocktails as well. So again, you get to those seven nights, we're going to throw in those two free seaplane transfers, okay? And that's combinable with 30% uh, off for September, 20% off in the winter months, and 25% and off for next summer. Kids here are under 12, by the way. Yes. Swiftly. Sun Siam Villa Reef. The, this is the first property Mr. Siam opened some 25 years ago now. That's what I call a lead in five star. So it comes in at a great rate. Okay. So you're struggling with a budget and they want five star. Take a look. Yeah. Um, I think one of the things here is just a very small island, uh, just over 100 rooms, seems to attract predominantly uh, older couples. Yeah. And I think the the reason they do is because it's such a small island. We retain the staff and they keep coming back and they keep coming back because the staff recognize them, recognize them by name. There was two couples, English couples. I was there last time. It'd been 18 times in 25 years. Yeah. Mama and Papa from Germany just come back 43 times in 25 years. So. It's getting a room because because the the, the basically the uh, repeaters are, are just ridiculous. Yes. 
So again, we are going down to the south by 35, 40 minutes. So again, we have that opportunity for that twin centre with the Irovelli just I, I was just speaking about, which is next door. Yeah, you get to a minimum of three nights to each resort and we'll throw in the boat transfer for three for free. Yes. As I said, small island, just 100 rooms. This is your lead in room type here. Deluxe Beach Villa. You go up one category to Jacuzzi Deluxe Beach Villa, and then now we've got the additional uh, of the Jacuzzi Tub in the bathing area. But all of them come with this lovely little cabana there. Beach Villa with pool, yes. This is the top category on the beach. It's beautiful, yes. Decent-sized pool there. And look at all the jungle in the background. That's what I like about this island. Lead-in over water category is your Reef Villa. Um, very spacious. Up one category, sunset refill, and now is the addition, same room type with the addition of a um, guaranteed sunset view, yes. And here's your top category over water, the Grand Water Villa with pool, separate bedroom, separate sitting room there, and your big uh, pool over, over the water, really beautiful. Again, it's just get on and dine around all inclusive. Yes, which is nice and easy. So we've got a buffet restaurant here over the water, which changes its themes every day. We've got a meat and seafood grill on the beach. Uh, we have the Spice Restaurant, which interestingly does um, Italian during the day and Indian in the evening, um, giving a bit of diversity for a small amount of space they've got. Uh, they've got one communal pool with, with a bar, which does snacks there, and another bar up by the main reception area, which does all the evening entertainment, yeah. So definitely one of the USPs here is that, as I said, you affordability. Go here and check out the rates. It's, it comes in at a great rate. But this is the key one. When your guests say, where's got a really good house reef and good for, good for snorkeling, it's in the name, Sun Siam Villa Reef. Yeah, it's got one of the best uh, house reefs in the Maldives. Reach just from the shore and I've seen, I've seen everything. Sharks, turtles, you name it, yeah. So currently we've just got EBOs. 10% off and 15% off but for next summer we're going to give you 20% off and if you get to those seven nights you'll get the free seaplane transfers trying to encourage some some next summer bookings um, but we don't need to do big offers on this place because it does get full with those 70% of repeaters yeah uh kids here under 12 and two in your room and eat for free yeah lastly very quickly gonna go sun siam olu Valley, four star Plus, so again, you've got a budget you're struggling with. Come and take a look. It's also a speedboat transfer, so just forty-five minutes by speedboat transfer. Some people don't want to do this the seaplane, so this is a good option. Lead and room type is a deluxe room. These have just been totally renovated, so they're looking great at the moment. Comes in blocks of four, two up, two down, and some with interconnection. Um, come in at a great rate. So if you're struggling. Uh, with with finding that fixing that budget then then take a look up one category on a beach grand beach for a bigger now much more spacious um and they come with or without a plunge pool at the front and lots of water villa categories but i'm picking out the new grand water villas which come with or without a pool which are just beautiful so when you book here at the Olive Valley, it is on full board. And that means you've got your meals at the buffet restaurants only. Yes. Small upgrade currently to all inclusive, which means buffet and booze. And then there's another small upgrade uh, to premium dine around, which means get on and dine around. And as of 1st of November, we're just going to have the two options. So full board up to the dine around option and take, get rid of that, that rubbish AI in the middle. Yes, which is not the dine around. Yeah. So we've got a couple of buffet restaurants. This is the Lagoon Bar here with the evening entertainment. We've got Thai. We've got Indian. We've got the pizzeria. We've got a couple of seafood grills. So some good options for dining here. Also, lots of activities, kite surfing, windsurfing, catamaran sailing. We've got a little um, a reef at the end of the pontoon as well. So lots of offers on again, but 20% off at the moment with 50% off the transfers in the summer months and then winter months through to next year. We've just got 20% off and a free dolphin cruise. But look, we've got that child discount again. 
kids here considered under 15. So we're encouraging families here. Two kids under 15 in your room for free, two eating on the same meal plan for free, but two kids under 15 also transfer for free. So that's two kids totally free at the Olivelli under 15 years old, which makes a heck of a difference. Um, you've got more than three kids and you need a second room for your four or five kids, then you you can get 50% off that uh, second room for the kids. I think I've covered it, Sarah. Uh, hopefully we got through it. <laughs> you did indeed, Catherine. And I've never seen so many love hearts and thumbs up um, <laughs> and emojis that have been flying around. I think you've been wowing everybody with those beautiful beaches in the, um, and the concept. So thank you very much, Catherine. No um, there's a few questions for you in the Q&A. So if you can have a look and we can do a couple of them later um, as we go into the presentation towards the end. Um, okay, so we're now leaving the Maldives. We're hopping over to Barbados. We've got Lindsay. Lindsay, welcome back and show us your face. <laughs> there I am. <laughs> Here she is. <laughs> and apologies so, uh, for the for the camera issue this morning, but here I am. Um Again, thank you very, very much. Um, really looking forward to telling you all about O2 Beach Club and Spa in the Barbados. So just a quick kind of demographic as to where we are. Um, we are on the south coast of the island. Oh, let me, apologies. There we are. Um, so we are on the south coast of the island. Um, we are about 15 minutes from the international airport, about 20 minutes from the capital city of Bridgetown, and walking distance to the boosting local experience of St. Lawrence Gap. Um, the island is small, if you're not familiar with Barbados. It's only about 166 square miles, which makes it very, very easy to get around. Um, you can go from where we are down on the south coast all the way up to the north um, in less than two hours, about an hour and a half, um, if you will. Um, very easy to get around the East Coast, as well um, as enjoying the lovely waters on the West Coast as well. We do encourage our guests to, you know, if they're comfortable, to grab a car rental, because um, as I mentioned, it's very, very easy to get around the island. I personally, every time I am there, um, grab myself a car rental as well and go and see. There's always something new to see that I haven't seen the time before. Um, just a little bit about the South Coast. Um, so recently kind of dubbed the capital of cool. Um, there's a ton of chic spots for dining, drinks, and experiences as well. So O2 Beach Club and Spa. Um, we are the, oh, oh, I'm uh, sorry. <laughs> So we are the newest five-star luxury boutique, all-inclusive on the island. Um, we have been open now for a little less than three years, um, 130 luxury suites. Uh, so we have anywhere between our luxury junior suites, which are adults only, um, to our luxury concierge one and two bedroom suites as well. Um, swim up rooms here, three pools, two that are adults only, six dining options on property, both indoor and outdoor, seven bars, um, including a uh, swim up bar, a roof tech bar, rooftop bar, um, and one late night bar as well. Entertainment every single night of the week as well, um, while you're enjoying whether your drinks or your outside dining, a full service spa, which I will show you a little bit more as we go on. Um, and we also have an adults only eighth floor uh, roof deck terrace, which is fantastic for sunset views if you want to just grab a cocktail and some tapas before you head off for the evening. Here's an overview of the property here. So those two buildings there, the one all the way to the left-hand side on the far left, um, that is our adults only luxury junior suite and our luxury swim up room building here. Just something to note on that building, 
the top two floors house our fine dining restaurant as well as our spa. So as you can imagine, some fantastic views um, from both venues. The building on the right hand side and the one closer to us, that is our uh, sunset building. So that houses that uh, tapas restaurant that I mentioned earlier that is located on the rooftop there. Um, there is also an adults only pool up there. So as I mentioned, really great for some sunset cocktails um, and tapas before you head off for dinner. This building also houses our luxury concierge one and two bedroom suites. So there's a ton of amenities and inclusions with these two rooms. Um, a few just to mention, we've got some how-to experiences. So that's anywhere between your how-to um, make a Bayesian rum punch, how to make a, a Bayesian fish cake, how to blow a conch shell. Um, we've got an array of activities. We also have available, which I have personally done a few times while on property, um, is we have a local artist come in and we have options to do kind of a beachside paint and sip, which is a really fun activity for your clients as well. We also offer um, our service champions as well um, on the beach and the pool. In the concierge rooms, you do have your experience ambassadors. Um, then we also offer a grocery service for those rooms as well. So while we are all inclusive, if you have clients that, you know, every once in a while, we just have that favorite late night snack that we like or some drinks that we want in our room, we're able to pre-order uh, pre those and have those in your room upon your arrival. Some of our experience as well that are included in your rooms is a spa credit. So depending on the room category and the nights that you book, your clients could get up to $100 in spa credits. We also have uh, complimentary green fees as well with the Barbados Country Club. So clients that are golf connoisseurs can definitely go and um, enjoy the golfing. I have as well um, experienced that also. We also have, which I'm not getting into today, um, but we also have a sister property, Seabreeze Beach House, which that is more of our family resort. Um, and that is all inclusive as well. So if you book, if your clients book five nights or more, they do have access to go and utilize all of the facilities over at our sister property, Seabreeze. And here is a look at our swim up rooms. Um, so this is part of the adults only building, um, which is our sunrise building, as well as our adults only lagoon pool here. Uh, the bar, the swim up bar all the way at the end of the image here, that is our adults only swim up bar as well. So a really nice area for, um, you know, your older guests or, you know, your guests that um, don't have any children with them, this is a great place to relax. While we do allow children at the resort, um, all of our adults only areas are 16 and older. So we do cater to families. However, Seabreeze is more of our family friendly with our kids club and um, our teen lounge as well. So again, as I mentioned, seven bars, this including two of them here. This is our um, adults only luxury suites and swim up suites. So really kind of that cool Caribbean, bright pink, orange colors, you know, really, really vibrant. Um, and as I mentioned, this is located near the adults only river pool. Again, our luxury suites, as well as you can see, uh, our bathrooms, uh, they are absolutely humongous, um, I can say. So really great uh, deep soaking tub, um, a fantastic shower area. So really, really spacious suites overall. And again, you can't go wrong with the view on the balconies also. Next, moving on to our luxury concierge suites. 
So these were just recently refurbished with some brand new furnishings. Um, so as you can as you can see here, kind of going in line with that cool, chic Caribbean feel. So the lighter colors, the blues, the pinks, the oranges. So a really nice open feel. And this is great for your families or your multi-gen families as well. Um, I did mention earlier the grocery service. As you can see, many of our rooms in this uh, building here offer either a full kitchen or a kitchenette. So really great to have just some groceries or anything that they would like during their stay. Six dining options on property. Um, so just to go through them all, our right hand corner, that is our Bluefin Beachfront Grill. So that's just a short stroll from the beach, casual beachside dining, um, your homemade burgers, your seafood sections, your salads, your pizzas. Um, this restaurant also serves as a restaurant for the beach and the poolside dining as well. So our beach ambassadors are, are working around the pool and the beach and have a menu for your clients if they do not want to get up from their lounger because we all know on vacation, sometimes we just do not want to move from the beach. Um, on the inside here, we have our Elements restaurant. And this of the resort. Um, so this is serving both all breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, breakfast is breakfast and lunch are both served buffet style. Um, and dinner is served a la carte. And we also have a really great uh, crescent bar here that you'll see on the upper right, upper left hand side. And that's a great spot, you know, after dinner to just have some drinks and enjoy the live music that we have throughout the evening also. And then the bottom right hand side, that is our adults only sunset deck. Um, this houses our whirlpools as well. Another look at our rooftop terrace that I mentioned earlier, this is Brisa. So that adults only pool um, and a really nice area. Great breeze up here to just kind of enjoy the day and just, you know, if you want to take a step aside from the beach a little bit. Lastly is our star of the show. This is Oro. So this is our ninth floor fine dining restaurant, um, which really takes your dining experience to new heights. Um, you know, live music every single night, an a la carte menu, uh, more of a European meets Caribbean um, fusion with great uh, 360 views of the South Coast. Um, one thing that we like to point out about the dining and beverage service at O2 um, is we don't charge any supplements. So um, spe specifically at Oro, if your clients are would like lobster and porterhouse steak every single night, that is included with our regular all-inclusive, as well as premium beverages and wines. Um, so we are really taking kind of luxury to the next level at O2 and Barbados. And lastly, our spa, our um, aqua spa. Sorry, I'm getting a lag. Are you seeing the spa? We can't see the spa just yet. I can just, we can still see the restaurant. Sorry, it's a little, little lag. Yeah, I think your internet was a little bit dodgy at some point, but yeah. Okay. We can see it now. Perfect. Perfect. So this is our eighth floor aqua spa. Um, so as I mentioned, your guests all have spa credits, um, depending on the room categories that they book. So they're anywhere from 75 to $100, uh, us dollar spa credit. We have four treatment rooms, um, in the spa, as well as we are home to the only hammam experience on island, which is fantastic as well to either start or finish your spa experience. And thank you again. I, I, I thank you for my my first uh, my booking rewards uh, webinar. I really enjoyed it. Um, my Contact information is on the slides. I think Sarah said she was going to share the slides and the presentation with everybody. Um, and again, I hope you I hope to see you soon um, and enjoy enjoyed your virtual visit with O2 Beach Club and Spa. Thank you very much, Lindsay. And we all want to be meeting you, especially sat overlooking that beautiful beach. So we'll yeah. look forward to the day <laughs> that we can do that. <laughs>
Okay, thank you very much, Lindsay. I hope you was all listening carefully. If you've got any questions for Lindsay, please pop them into the Q&A for the attention of Lindsay. So now I'm going to welcome Anna. Anna, you're muted. If you can turn your video on and unmute yourself. Hi, good morning, everybody. Can you Hello. hear me now? I can hear you. We can't see you, but we can hear you. Do you have a video? I Yes, I will share my screen in just a second. Okay. Anna, let me know first... if you can hear the audio. Yeah, no, we can see you. Uh, we can't see you. So can you turn your video on? Oh, I'm sorry. Give me just a second. Okay. Can you... There's probably okay, some light behind is. me. Yes, Give me just we a can second. see you now. Oh, good. Anna, if you can introduce yourself, tell us who you are, where you're from, and um, you can go straight ahead with your presentation, please. Thank you. Do you have a better? That's good. We can see you. Perfect. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for this invitation um, and for allowing me to introduce you to Almare Isla Mujeres. My name is Anna Leva. I am the director of sales and marketing for the property. Um, very excited as this is the first luxury collection, all inclusive, adults only, managed by Marriott. So um, you can imagine uh, the expectation that we have from our luxury collection um, guests uh, uh, with this luxury collection, uh, redefining the all inclusive, as you can imagine, Cancun, uh, the destination, which is um, probably what everybody feels more familiar with, um, is an all-inclusive destination. However, Isla Mujeres is um, its own municipality. It's an island off the coast of uh, the Cancun shoreline. And um, it's the perfect spot for those seeking a more serene um, a place, a spend the days a little bit. Uh, slower and maybe uh, emerge more into what is the traditional Mexican Caribbean. Um, and of course, we do serve out of the Cancun International Airport. Um, so I want to uh, start off introducing you to our destination, the island of Isla Mujeres. Let me know if you can hear the audio and see my screen. We can't see your screen. If you can press share screen and make sure that your um, the button is press to share sound and then uh, we should be able to see. Here we go. Oh good, you've got um, you've got a black barrier above it. Um, if you can move, can you move that away? I'm sorry? You've got like a big black banner. So is it, there's something hiding behind your computer screen. Can you drag that to the right hand side to get rid of it? Yeah, this one where you are now. Okay, it's gone right in front. Okay, stop sharing. Stop sharing for a moment because we can't hear the we can't hear the music anyway. So stop sharing. I'll try one more time for the audio. Yeah, I'm just trying to get rid of, um, sorry, I've just taken over the screen just so that I can uh, stop you sharing. So if you can sure. try again, and then when you press share screen, before you select your screen, you must press share sound. Yeah, it's not giving me that option. Um... Okay, don't worry, we'll just have it without the sound. So if you if you press share screen, but we you need to make sure that any barriers you've got on the screen is moved to the right hand side so that we can see your presentation properly. Okay, give me just another second, then I'll try one more time. normally when you've got things open. 
on your screen, but don't, I mean, don't worry if we can't, we can't. Um... Okay, we should be fine now. Okay. Okay, let's see this video, we're looking forward to it. Okay, so did you were you guys able to see it? Good. Yeah, we can see it. We've got we've got a black box in front, but it's we can see majority of it, so it's all good. Okay. I'll, I'll share the link in our chat box just so everybody can uh, have a look. Um, this was just a brief introduction uh, to our property and to our destination. Um, Isla Mujeres is definitely uh, uh, what we call a hidden gem in the Mexican Caribbean. So it's not the traditional um, Cancun or Riviera Maya to what most of our uh, guests are familiar with. As I mentioned, um, we are less than four miles out of the Cancun, uh, away from the Cancun shoreline. Um, this is an aerial view of our property. We have 109 rooms all together. This is an oceanfront resort, adults only. And like I mentioned, redefining all inclusive, the first luxury collection managed property in Mexico. Um, Isla Mujeres is a small island off uh, the north part of the Yucatan Peninsula. Um, when we think of the island, we immediately think of what are the means of transportation, right? And something that uh, we emphasize a lot is um, this adventure and discovering um, and enjoying the trip to the island. It's uh, about an hour from the moment that you leave the airport. It could be an hour, an hour, 15 minutes at the most. Um, so this is the reason why we emphasize a lot the transportation process. Um, once you are out of the Cancun International Airport, it could be about 30 minutes uh, until you arrive to the marina here at the Renaissance in Cancun, which is a, a sister brand, uh, where we have our own vessel waiting for our guests um, to just embark and enjoy the adventure, which is a 20 minute boat ride directly into our property dock. Um, our um, team will be greeting the guests uh, in our deck uh, show them around the property and just get them to enjoy uh, the resort. So uh, this uh, maritime transportation is complimentary. It's included for all of our guests, regardless of their method of booking. Um, we just need the, them to, of course, uh, share with us their uh, arrival, their, their manifest, their flight information, and our team will be taking care of their uh, boat transportation. The ground transportation would be uh, on their own, uh, they are welcome to either quote with our in-house DMC transfers company, or they can um, acquire the, the best service that they would like um, privately. But our own vessel will be uh, transporting all of our guests. Now, when we think of Isla Mujeres, we possess one of the top 10 beaches in the world. So when we're looking for top beach destinations, well, Isla Mujeres is up there in the list, along with the beautiful Maldives, which we just saw, um, destinations like Bora Bora and others. Playa Norte is, has been um, ranked as one of the top 10 in the world. Almare, what is the introduction? This is a sanctuary for the soul. We are not only redefining the luxury all-inclusive, but really focusing on wellness and calmness. The natural vibe of the island itself is a very um, romantic and relaxed um, type of, of life. Our core values center around authenticity, simplicity, sustainability, and integration. 
Sustainability and integration are a big part being in an island for us. It's a small island. At some point, we have less than seven kilometers. Um, well, we are less than seven kilometers long. And at some points, we are not even one kilometer wide. So it is a small island. And the integration with the natural resources and, um, and all the goodness of the island is something that we take um, a big part that it is very important for us to share also with our guests. The wow factors, Isla Mujeres is uh, well known for its amazing sunsets, but um, fun fact, in Isla Mujeres is where we welcome the new day in Mexico every day. So the sunrise is the first sunrise that we have in all the country um, takes place in Isla Mujeres. So this gives us the opportunity to share with our guests uh, different sunrise activations, uh, Tai Chi, yoga, and of course in the evening enjoying those amazing sunsets which are unique in the island because of where we are situated. We are off the second world's uh, largest coral reef, giving us the opportunity also to share different uh, aquatic activities. And like I mentioned, really um, the destination is a, or, a perfect for peaceful sunsets out of the ordinary and begin crafting unforgettable moments. These are um, our accommodations. Uh, we have 109 all together from a standard double or king bedrooms all the way up to our uh, premium suites, which would be a duplex suites, grand suites, and one presidential. We do have connecting rooms as well as double double bedrooms. So ideal for those uh, friends trips or um, larger leisure groups. Our different spaces meticulously uh, crafted with contemporary decor, state of the art amenities, but also focusing really um, on the uh, vibe of the island. Um, the island is currently covered of more than 70% of mangrove still. So um, have uh, the richness of the, of the natural vibe of the island within the property. Our unique experiences, the luxury collection, we do have our weekly Epicurean moments offering our guests the opportunity to immerse into the culture. Um, activities such as making the cochinita pibil, which is a traditional uh, shredded pork dish here in the Yucatan Peninsula. Um, also participating in different Mayan um, rituals and uh, such as uh, uh, hand making the tortillas, um, different festivities in the island. Important to mention, Isla Mujeres uh, was founded by Cuban fishermen. We do have a high um, a Cuban influence tradition. So the festivities in the island go year long, um, not only with our probably the traditional Mexican festivities that you, many of you may, re, may be familiar with, but also with a lot of Cuban music, dancing, and a lot of folklore from the Caribbean. Moving into the uh, culinary delights, we do have four restaurants and four bars throughout the property. Uh, they will be immersing our guests into the interna traditional international, of course, but uh, the authentic Yucatan and Mexican cuisine. At Boga, which is our main restaurant for serving breakfast and also transforming into an elegant international dining favors into the night, seating capacity of um, approximately 200 people. The Breeze, this is where we will be enjoying our Caribbean crafted cocktails enjoy the pool and just sit along and relax and start seeing from the sunrise to the sunset. Uh, this is our roof restaurant. This is where we will find a, an ocean view overlooking infinity pool, which is a scenic view actually. You can see all throughout the Cancun coastline and throughout the island. Uh, this is probably going to be one of the prime locations as it will give our guests the opportunity to enjoy those sunsets that we're talking about and just relax and enjoy the roof pool while we um, enjoy lunch or dinner up in the roof. Botanique, this is our blends bar. Um, when we, again, speak of redefining all-inclusive rather than a 24-hour coffee shop, we decided to invite our guests in immersing with the natural elements of the uh, locality not only of Isla Mujeres, but also of the Yucatan Peninsula. So a natural blend uh, bar with um, the local grains of cacao, 
coffee, um, uh, elements such as the chaya leaf, aloe, uh, the aloe vera, which is also very traditional here in this part of the country. And this will be serving 24 hours a day. Alvento, this is our beach club. We are um, very fortunate where our location um, has one of the widest natural beaches in the island. We have almost 100 meters wide of natural beach. And the most amazing thing is we don't have seaweed. So Isla Mujeres, because of where we are located, um, we are very blessed that we don't have uh, this situation with the sargasm whenever there is a seasonality for it. Um, if we get this little bit of it, it would be a lot. So um, this is something that we highlight a lot because we understand when we're looking and the reason why we're speaking about one of the top 10 beaches in the world, um, all natural and uh, seaweed free. Al Paso, this is our uh, food truck and where we will have a very fun activation through the day. Uh, redefining the all-inclusive is doing something different, personalized and focused all around wellness. We have a traditional Mayan specialty a fusion with an Asian hibachi grilling concept. So this is going to be a, out of the ordinary, a, a fun activation, um, offering the all-inclusive, but also a focus on um, uh, having a menu that is nourishing and health-focused. For groups and events, as I mentioned, this is an ideal property for those uh, leisure groups, friends getaways, honeymooners, weddings, group board meetings, um, and also given our inventory of 109 rooms, we are open to a buyout opportunities. So this is an ideal as a blank canvas for those groups that just want to um, take over and enjoy and uh, start crafting their event with us um, at Almare. Our Alma Spa, we have seven treatment cabins. One of them is couples. The other six are individual cabins. Our spa, um, we're focusing also on sharing a um, renewal of the, of the mind, body, and spirit with the uh, elements that are important to the Mayan culture. So we do have, for example, um, in the Yucatan Peninsula, we have a lot of the chaman traditions where we do the cleansing with all the elements, um, et cetera. This is something that we're highly focusing on and, and also extending this wellness offer, not only in the spa, but throughout the property where we, as I mentioned, will have these um, uh, yoga activations, tai chi, sunrise and sunset rituals um, as part of our uh, balance and be surrounded with this Caribbean uh, vibe not only in the squad, but throughout the property itself. Sun, scent, and serenity await. Again, um, I want to leave you with the ease of transfer, the ease of travel to the property. Um, we will be uh, trans transporting our guests in our own vessel and um, giving this exclusive ride where our guests will just sit back, enjoy the view, the amazing colors of the, um, of the, of the Caribbean, if any of you are familiar with the destination, as you head out into um, closer to Isla Mujeres, the colors of the ocean are just beyond words. Um, and this is the ride, this is the journey to the property itself. So uh, I wanna leave you with um, this journey that we wanna share with our guests and um, the ease of transfer uh, as they arrive to Almare. And I'm not sure if we have any questions in the chat. Thank you very much, Anna. Yes, we do indeed. We've got a few questions. Um, a couple of them you've already answered during your presentation. So I've um I've left those alone. Um okay, so if everybody can come back, um Lindsay and Catherine, we're going to do the, well, Catherine, I think you've been extremely busy during the full presentation, answering all of the questions behind the scenes. So thank you for that. Lindsay, you've had quite a few questions too. Um, let me just check. We've got five questions that are pending at the moment. Um, Jackie's asked, Anna, is Alma on the Atlantic side? So we are into the Gulf of Mexico, actually. Um... So like it's less than four miles off the Cancun shoreline. 
So we do serve out of the Cancun airport and it's only um, a 30 minute uh, ground transfer into the marina and then about a, a 20 minute boat ride into directly into the property. Super. Um, Anna, can, question, can clients marry at Almare? For weddings, you mean? Yeah. Yes. So weddings is definitely um, something that is a top for the island, given this romantic vibe that the island itself uh, gives. So ideal for weddings, honeymoons, and romantic getaways. Super, thank you very much. Anna, just in the process, can you just pop your contact details into chat so that everybody has your email address? We've got some people asking for it. Of course. Thank you. Super. And then also Lois has asked, um, do you know which UK-based business-to-business suppliers we can book through? I presume maybe Pure Luxury, Gold Medal, uh, maybe if only. Do you have contracts with, with those? I'm sorry, is this question for me? Yeah, yeah. In terms of who can UK aids book through? Um, do you book through Gold Medal, Pure Luxury? Yes, we are. Okay, super. Okay, um, if you can stop sharing your screen, please, Anna. There we go. Okay, so now we come to the part of the day that we test all of the agents. So Anna, um, I sent you a message earlier, but just have a think of a question that you covered during your presentation. So everybody go to chat, make sure your drop down says everyone. Um, we're going to ask some little questions for you on a fastest finger first basis. However, as a reminder, everybody on the webinar today gets a prize draw point. If you are the fastest finger, you get 10 prize draw points. And then I put you all in the magic spin to win. So, Catherine, if you can fire away with your question, please. Um, first uh, property I talked about, Sunsiam era Fuji. How many bars and restaurants were on offer on the island? Let's have a look. Okay, so lots of people are saying 15. It is. It's 15 bars and restaurants. Perfect. So Chloe was the first person with the fastest thing, finger. Just write his name down. Super. So Chloe, you, you have your temple. Lindsay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, should be an easy question. Um, what coast is O2 Beach Club and Spa located on? I think that was too easy. I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Lauren said the south. Is that correct? That is correct. Lauren, you have your points. Perfect. And last but not least, Anna, you wowed us with your trip on the ferry across to your, well, not, do we call it a ferry? Probably not. Uh, over to your hotel and all those blue colours, but what is your question today? Thank you. Um, hope somebody recalls the fun fact about Isla Mujeres that I mentioned. So you want the fun fact about Isla Mujeres? They got it. This is where the sun rises ah, the first in Mexico. Go. Yes. So we have a winner. Ah, perfect. So, so Megan said sunrise. Would that count? Or would you want where the sunrise is first, which is a second answer? Yes, it's where the sun, sun rises first in the country. Perfect. So Shanice is the correct. Congratulations. You have, you have your 10 points. So thank you massively, everybody. Um, don't forget these hosts that are speaking to you today. They're all trade friendly, wanting to work with you. I will send a copy of the recording and their contact details out on an email. If you've got any further questions, let them know. Thank you for all the love hearts. Thank you for the attention today. Hope you've enjoyed it. And we will see you all next week. It's nearly the weekend. So have a great weekend, everybody. And a big thank you again to Anna, Lindsay and Catherine. We love you. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>
Bye, everybody. Take Bye. care. Bye. <laughs>